Hi. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Actually, before I start, I need I need some lemon water. One second. You know what? Stressful conversations call for lemon water. But you might be asking such questions as, Bella, how are you alive? Or Bella, where have you been? There are five main key reasons as to why I had quit YouTube. It was kind of a spiral, so this really shows you the progression of like... And this is also in order, so hopefully that gives you a kind of clear sort of picture of where I was at. They're not easy topics. Um, and yeah, this video slightly pains me, but I think it is needed and it is about time and I'm ready to open up about it all and be vulnerable. So hey, here is my vulnerability video. I hope you enjoy. Number one reason why I quit YouTube at the time, um, just to kind of set a president for my mental health going forward. I was in a very toxic relationship um, and if you guys have ever been in like a toxic relationship before or just with someone that like, makes you doubt yourself, makes you like gaslights you a lot, damages your mental health in that kind of way, you'll understand a lot of the things I'm going to mention in this video. Yeah, not a good relationship caused me a lot of mental distress. There was so much going on in my life that um, I started posting less and less and less on YouTube. Point number two of um, why I disappeared was also kind of escalating from that, um, my confidence in my belief in myself was at an absolute all-time low. I was so insecure. Like, I, I honestly felt I just had no confidence at the time. My mental health was, like, up to the floor. I was also dealing with, like, my acne stuff as well, like, my hormonal acne, and I was just breaking out everywhere in the middle of everything, and... It was, it definitely took a huge, like, toll on me. Uh, obviously, a photo, you're far away, you can't really see that much detail of your face. Um, but, like, on a video, especially, like, this kind of situation, like, you can see everything. It's such a conundrum because in that situation, I loved watching people on social media talk about acne, their situation with acne, like, it really helped me. So I really regret not doing more of that at the time. But with everything going on, I was just such low confidence that like I just, I couldn't actually bring myself to, like I was petrified. Leaving my apartment I was scared of, let alone showing everybody. So reason number three, kind of following along from the confidence situation and point number one, was that I, I was in probably the worst place mentally that I have ever been. Not trusting myself, like doubting every decision I made. Like I swear, I would film so much and I could not post any of it because I would be so self-critical and I, I would be so in my head that like I would finish a video and I would honestly just talk myself out of posting it because I would say like it's not good enough People are going to think it's embarrassing, people are going to laugh, people are going to do this, people are going to do that. I was in such a hole of beating myself up over it because of the mental state that I had kind of come from with point number one and point number two. It is hard coming from a situation where someone very, very close to you that you very much trust and you've built that trust with over time is super 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 critical and tearing down of everything you do so there's always something wrong with your hair or there's always something wrong with your work or this or that i think over time uh, it really really gets to you and gets to your decision making as well even people on youtube notice i had so many of you message me being like are you okay the fourth reason is i started to really dislike my job um and this isn't for what you think it is, so bear with me. The thing I have always loved the most about what I do is being able to have like a genuine connection with you guys and help you guys out, helping in terms of advice or like having deep chats and like helping someone through a situation that they're dealing with. 
It's the thing that actually made me, gave me genuine joy and made me love this job so much. And I felt like that entire part of my like job was just severed and because of how low my confidence was and just everything that I started to really dislike the content I was making because it was not a reflection of how I was at all. To put on a smile and to put on this brave face when I felt the complete opposite. So I, I ended up sticking to the superficial content, sticking to, you know, I just throw a few TikToks in or like pictures and reels on Instagram which just tell you absolutely nothing about what's going on because it was the easiest thing for me to do but I also started despising it because I couldn't open up and that is the most important part of this job for me is that aspect of it and I felt like I couldn't do that. And the last final point that I quit YouTube, I needed to spend time figuring out what it was I actually wanted. It took a long time to just be single and just focus on my family, my friends um, and focus on like what I wanted out of life, like what my values were, like everything. I had basically a quarter life crisis at 24. Did I hate this? Like what was the reason I was finding it so hard to film a YouTube video? And what I have realized as well is that I love this job. Like it has always been what I wanted to do. Even when I was going through college and I had no friends in college, you guys were my friends the whole time and I had the most amazing community that got me through college that helped me in so many ways and hopefully I was able to help you in some way as well and that is what I loved so much about this job I adore that like even when I streamed and I knew for a fact that everyone in there would at least leave with a smile on their face my story time videos where I spoke about bullying in high school and acne and things that could maybe relate to you helping people be healthier and make better choices and how could I look back on my life and at the end of the day when I'm like seconds away from leaving this earth what would make me feel fulfilled that is the stuff that really just excites me and makes me genuinely joyful and that just made me realize like actually I am 110% confident that this is what I'm meant to be doing and this is what I want to do. I would only come back when I was strong enough internally and confident enough internally to be very open and honest, which is what you're getting in this video. This is maybe a bit too vulnerable, but yeah. God, I'm literally gonna cut all of this out. Next video will be a much more exciting, peppy, upbeat video. I'm so excited for YouTube again, like I have so many ideas. I appreciate anybody who's still here. God, okay, I need to keep doing this again. I am a few days away from my time of month, so I am emotional. Maybe this is the wrong time to be filming this video, or the right time. Depends how you look at it. Anyways, honestly, if you want to come chat in the comments, please do. Any comment at all is welcome. I am signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.